everyone, welcome back to Brush and Bubbles and another painting tutorial. We're going to do part two of our nude figure paintings. So if you haven't already checked out our other video, we're basically going to do a whole series of different kind of bodies. Now what we've decided to do is keep this super fun, really abstract. I'm going to break them down into very easy, manageable steps so you can follow along from the comfort of your own homes. What I mentioned previously is the body comes in so many different wonderful shapes and sizes so you can be completely free with what kind of body or figure you want to add on top of your painting. So I'm going to be taking you all through exactly how I created this painting here. So for my last one I went for more sort of pinky nude colours with my background but I've decided to go for a little bit more cool colours here and use the sort of blues and greens so I'll be showing you how I've made them but please feel free to use any colours that you want for your own painting. I've then decided to paint my figure over the top but if you want to you can always use a pencil and sketch it, you can use a sharpie, a felt tip, anything that you want. I also broke down how I've drawn this body here, but like I mentioned, you can draw any figure that you want for your own painting. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial where I'll be talking you through what you'll need to create this. Thanks everyone, I hope you all enjoy it. In front of me, I have my canvas. I'm gonna be painting in portrait, but if you want to and you've got a special place in your house for this painting, you can always paint in landscape instead. I have two different sized brushes, a medium square shaped brush and then a smaller pointy one. I've then got some kitchen towel to dab my brushes on, a glass of water, a palette to put all of my paints in and my acrylic paints. I've also got here a scrap piece of paper and a pencil just because I like to sort of sketch out my design before I go ahead and paint it on the canvas. So I just recommend having a scrap piece of paper and a pencil or pen on standby just in case you need it. So like I mentioned before, you can use any colours and shades that you want for this painting. And because I've already done um, a nude painting in the same series and I use kind of sort of peaches and very earthy nude tones, I'm going to go for a slightly different palette for my painting this time. So you can just spend a moment now adding whichever shades of paint you want to to your palette. In my palette, I have predominantly white, some blue, a darker shade, almost a teal shade of green, and then some black paint. I'm going to start just by mixing up the colour that I'm going to have for my background. So I want to keep this quite um, a neutral, very, very pastel tone. So for this, I'm just going to pick up my medium brush and dip it in my water just to loosen the bristles. And then moving over to my palette, I'm just going to mix up this colour now. So I'm going to start with mostly white and I'm going to need quite a lot of this just because I need it to cover up the whole of the background. So I'm just scooping up a couple of scoops of it and moving it over to a different dish. And then to this white, I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of black just to make a nice light grey shade. I'm going to give it a really good mix. I then just want to add a little bit of a blue hue to this colour, so I'm just going to pick up a tiny amount of blue and mix that in as well. As soon as you're happy with the shade that you've mixed up, I would just suggest adding a couple of drops of water into this mixture, giving it a good stir just to make sure that the paint is nice and fluid. And then whenever you're happy, we're just going to cover up the whole background of our canvas with whichever shade you've decided to go for. So it's up to you. You can be quite choppy with your paintbrush, doing sort of crisscross motions. Or if you want to, you can be more smooth and sort of drag the paintbrush backwards and forwards straight across the canvas to give you more of a smooth application with the paint. Like always, I would just suggest wrapping this paint around the sides of the canvas and the top and the bottom whenever you need them. But we're just going to spend a little moment now covering up our entire canvas with this shade. As soon as you've covered up your whole background, we can just give a medium brush a little wash in the water. 
So this is the fun bit because we're just going to mix up the first colour for one of the shapes we're going to have for our background. So I'm going to go for a kind of blue shade, but I quite like keeping this grey undertone within it. So I'm just going to mix up that colour now. So just taking my medium brush, again I'm just going to start with some white as my base, moving it over to a different dish in my palette. And then I'm just going to pick up a little bit of blue and a little bit of black and give it a good mix. I want a darker shade than I had originally. So I've got my sort of darker earthy shade of blue here. So I'm going to use this colour for my first shape. And this is the fun bit because you can really decide what kind of shape you want to do. You might want to go more angular with more triangles and squares, or you might want to be a little bit more fluid and use sort of ovals or rounded shapes and blobs. Now, because the last painting I did of the nude, I did sort of like, I would say more fluid shapes in the background. So I'm gonna to stick to that same theme because the idea is, is these are all gonna sit next to each other. So I'm just gonna take this first color, I'm just gonna pick an area and I'm just going to do a sort of wobble-like shape. I'm just going to fill in that whole area with this same shade, remembering to wrap it around the sides of the canvas as well. As a little tip, if you're struggling to get a really crisp line with your shapes and you really want a crisp line, I would just add a little bit of water back into your paint mixture really mix it in and then go back in with this sort of more washed down consistency and it just helps you get a really nice crisp line with your paint if that's the sort of effect that you're wanting. As soon as you're happy with your first shape we can now go ahead and mix up our next colour. So I'm not going to actually wash off my brush, I'm just going to keep that shade on there but I'm just going to move over to a different area of my palette and I'm just going to start with some white again moving it over and I'm just going to add a little bit of black to this just so I can keep that grey undertone that I've got going on within this painting. I'm going to give that a mix so I create that grey colour, mixing it in with that blue shade from my brush. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of green to this and see what the colour comes out like. I've got a kind of minty grey tone here. I might even just darken it up slightly. So I'm just going to add a little bit more black, tiny bit, and a tiny bit more green. Just give it a mix again. And then whenever you're ready, you can just take this next shade that you've made and fill in your next shape. So again, totally up to you what kind of shape you want to go for. I think I'm just going to do a sort of thinner, blob down here then I'm just going to fill it all in and remembering to wrap it around the sides or the top I'm now just going to go ahead and mix up my last colour so again I'm not going to wash off my brush I'm just going to keep that paint on there Moving back over to my palette, I'm just going to mix up this shade within this white here. So I just want to use more of a sort of a darker grey shade. So I'm just picking up some more black. I'm just going to mix it in to that white. If you run out of white or any other colours on your palette, just feel free to replenish them whenever you need to. So I'm just gradually adding that black in there just to darken up that shade. And we're just going to do exactly the same thing again. So just pick a section of your canvas where you want your next shape. I think I'm going to work mine down here and I might just go for a slightly more of a, a rounded square shape. It's always nice to sort of try a shape and if you don't like it or it's not working, you can always change it. So I'm just going to focus this to this section down here, filling it all in and remembering to paint the sides as well.
as soon as you're happy with that last shape, I would just give your brush a really good wash. While we wait for our painting to dry, I'm just going to move it carefully over to the side. I'm just going to pick up my scrap piece of paper and my pencil. So this is where we can have a little play around with a design that we can do for our body. So like I mentioned before, you can do any shape, any gender, any size. You can go more abstract, you can be more stylistic. It's totally up to you what you do. And the great thing about this is you really can't go wrong. The other thing you might like to do is you might just want to do one figure on your painting or you might want to do a few overlapping each other. You could even do them in different colours overlapping each other so you really get this sort of abstract style with your painting. So I'm just going to sketch out a rough design of what I think I might go for. So I'm going to start over here on the right hand side of my figure and I'm just going to do a sort of diagonal line going up. The great thing about this is don't worry if your lines are not straight, we don't want them to be, we want the body to look nice and fluid and it has lumps and bumps and all sorts of gorgeous shapes involved. So just sort of go with it and don't overthink it too much. So this is going to be sort of the side of my figure and then I'm going to bring the hip around slightly like this. And then from here, you can sort of gauge where everything else goes. So you can do a sort of a V shape. So I like to do a curved line going down this way. And then the V kind of sitting here. So this will be the top of the legs. And then I like to add in the belly button. So I just do a sort of comma like shape and a, and a line going up. And then you can start here and do one of the breasts so you might have this one sort of sweeping down curving up and then leaving a little gap and then just doing another one same way and then you can sort of start to see the shape forming and it is super abstract these are literally just lines I'm doing and sort of curves but as they all form together you can kind of see the body making shape so then I'm just going to draw in the net other half of the body. If you if you don't want to do the other half, you don't have to. I'm just going to sort of scroop this around a little bit. It'll go in a bit and then come back out. I might just add in the sort of hint of the other arm just curving up there. Doing a line here to show where the neck would be. Might even bring this up slightly. And then if you want to, you can add sort of shapes where the nipples might be as well. So as you can see, this is a super abstract version of a body and you don't have to do something like this. You could literally maybe just do one sort of section. And then, like I mentioned, you might want to do a different body over the top. So you might want to sort of ignore this and do a different shape, different size. Um, you can do any kind of body that you want, really. So if you wanted to, you could just keep it really simple, do like a swerve line the breast and then sort of curve it around underneath bring it in and then swoop it around to the hip area and you might just want to do another sort of v-shape for the top of the leg and another belly button even the other arm going up so you just start to see different elements of of the body overlapping the other body which i do think is quite a, a fun way of of doing this as well. So just spend a moment giving your body a little practice. If you want to, you can always go ahead and use the pencil on your painting and then paint over it, or you might actually like the mixed medium effect and you might just want to use the pencil and not the paint and just literally sketch over your canvas. So there are loads of different options for this. Just pick whichever one you're more drawn to. As soon as the background of your canvas is dry, this is when we can now go ahead and paint or draw or sketch on our figure. So like I mentioned, you might just want to use a pencil for this or you might want to start with the pencil and then add the paint over the top. And you can really paint this in in whatever colour that you want to. You might want to do it in white, in black. You might want to go really bold and add a red or a purple to it. It's totally, totally up to you what you do for your own painting. So just have a little think decide what you want to do and then whenever you're ready we're going to draw in our figure.
So I'm going to use this first figure that I sketched out as my sort of example. And again, I'm just going to take my pencil and just very carefully start sketching it in. Just be careful not to push down too hard on your canvas so it leaves a mark. So I'm just going to start with that first kind of diagonal line on the right hand side of the body. Again, I'm just pushing down very lightly. And I'm going to swoop around for the hip. I'm going to move on and add this sort of V-like shape. So it's a curve and then a sort of other curve going there to the, the V. And then I'm going to add in the belly button and the sort of line that goes up the body from the belly button. And then I'm going to move over to the breast on this side. So sort of swerving it down and then just adding in the other one on the other side, curving it around, bringing it up, just sort of swooping the other side, just sort of underneath this breast, bringing it in slightly. Don't worry if there's a few wobbles and then bring it out a bit like so. You can then add a sort of curve there to show the arm and you might even want to bring this arm up slightly. And then I like just doing a little dash down to sort of show where the neck might be. There's another one there. And then if you want to, you can sort of add in the shape of the nipples. And there you have a sort of rough design of your body. So if you do want to paint over the top of this, we're just going to mix up the colour for this now. So I've just added a little bit more white to my palette. So I'm just going to pick up some of that white and use it as my base. And then to this, I'm just going to start adding black just because I want a nice sort of dark grey tone. And as soon as you're happy with the shade that you've created, I would just add a few drops of water to this and give it a really, really good mix in. We want to make it more of a sort of inky like consistency just because it makes it easier to draw sort of crisp lines with when the paint isn't too thick. And if you're ready, just dash off any of the excess paint so you haven't got too much on your brush and it sort of brings it to a nice point. And then moving back over to our canvas, we can now just sort of start overlaying the paint with the lines that we've already made. So again, just take your time. There's no rush with this. But remember, it's OK if it goes off piece a little bit and it's a bit wonky because we want these to look nice and sort of abstract and natural and free. And everybody comes in different shapes and different sizes. And it's what makes painting the body and nudes just so fun because you can really go wild and do anything that you want. And if all else fails and you're not happy with what you've done, you can always paint more shapes on top and just start again and just keep adding different layers. You might even want to go more Picasso style with your painting and go super, super abstract and just start doing random shapes for each body part. So just spend a moment just painting in all of the shapes for your figure. So this is your moment just to take a little step back. I recommend having a little walk or just staring at something else for a moment and then coming back to your painting and decide if there's anything else you want to add. If you want to add more figures to the canvas overlapping, you could do them in different colours of paint if you want to. 
you might even want to move back over to your pencil and start sketching in more sort of shading. It's a really lovely free painting to do and I would always recommend having an experiment, sort of be brave, add anything you want because if you don't like it you can always cover the canvas with paint and just start again and some of the greatest masterpieces in the world have had layers and layers and layers of paintings done underneath them before the artist was happy with the finished product. So just spend a moment adding anything that you want to your painting. As soon as you're happy with the figure that you have drawn on top of your painting, you have then completed your nude masterpiece. I hope that you all enjoyed that and if you did then don't forget to give us a little thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button just so you get a little notification as we have so many different painting tutorials going live each week. Thanks everyone and I hope to see you all again really soon. Bye!